This is just outside of Fort Clinch. This is absolutely beautiful. It's a state park, so there's a lot of trails and nature. Let's walk down this path. Never know what we're going to see. This is a beautiful path down here. Wow, I'd love to come out here at nighttime. It's amazing. These trees are so old. Look. It's like. Think of all the history this place has seen over the years. That's what really interests me is how many layers there are of spirits everywhere we go. I mean, there's the spirits from so many, many, many years ago that lived here, that passed away, and a lot of them died, especially in this area of Florida, having to do in, with wars and traumatic death. And then you've got more recent times where people who just lived here have passed away. So sometimes when, <clears throat> when you go to a place, there's so many different types of spirits there that you can walk literally from room to room and there's people from the 1800s or the 1900s, there's Native Americans, there's Civil War people, there's people who died 10 years ago. It's, it's just really amazing to understand all of that and to be able to talk to them all. It's a beautiful path, isn't it? We saw a winged one, Cardinal. If one gets lost, all you need to do is come back to, to Earth and walk amongst your nature friends. See who comes to you. Whether a bird, insect, ones that crawl, doesn't matter. There will be spirits communicating with you. So stop. And try to listen to what they're trying to tell you. When we go to a place that needs lots of spirits to cross over, I will try to find a great tree. And I will ask the great tree if it would like to be a tree of light. I've never had a tree say no. Trees are full of love and willing to gift themselves to help others. So with that tree of light, makes a connection with here and the great beyond to those that have lost and need to find home, all they need to go is to the tree. They'll have a loved ones waiting for them to take them home. And that is what we do. That is what spirit light is all about. And when you send spirits into the light, you heal. Not only the ones that go into the light, but you heal the families that have missed them. You heal the land that has been feeling their sorrow with each footstep that they take. And that is what Spirit Light is about, especially with children. Children, we must make sure that they go into the light. This is such a beautiful place. You know, when we've talked with spirits before, with our guides, they've told us what heaven is like. And they've told us that when you, when you go to cross, not the people who are traumatized, but the people that are ready to go, that they see their family in the light. And it's amazing because they're able to be reunited with them. And so it's not a sad time. It's a very beautiful and, and wonderful, warm re, reuniting in the light with your family after all these years. And all of your earthly 
pain and suffering and fear and confusion, it all goes away. And you're just united with your family. The hard part's for the people left behind who miss you. And that's another reason that we like to try to go to help because we're able to, ex to show and explain that we never really lose anyone that we loved. That they're always still there. They can check in with us. They watch over us. And they still love us. We are here to help Diane and myself and our other team members. If you need someone that needs to cross over into the light, you have trouble with a grumpy in your house, if you need your land blessed, let us know. We will come and help. And that is what we will do. This is our path. 